Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial let's continue with the conversion functions. As we have uh, previously lastly discussed about uh, the conversion of integer to boolean, we had input the value of a as 0. Now let's try inputting the value as 1, value of a as 1 and let's save this and write run the script. Line 15, character 27. All right. Okay. All right. Let's just cut this off now. Let's save it and try running the script. String to integer. Okay. Input, enter a number. We have already done this in our previous tutorial. This value is converted to an integer now. Now it is integer to boolean, and as we have, uh, as we know, zero is represented as false, and non-zero is represented as true. So one is a non-zero number, so it is represented as true. So this goes as true. So the type name will be true, and uh, the type name will be boolean, and uh, this will be true so boolean and true now let's uh, try another conversion that is uh, I'm dividing each each uh, conversion by a message box so that uh, we you know when we run the script we know where exactly we are so we convert the integer to date so a equals input box enter the value of date in day month year format This is the message for the user. Now we convert this. As we know, whatever input that is taken by the input box is saved as a string. We convert that value to the date. Now let's uh, give a message box. Type name A. Now message box. A. Simple. Let's save it and try running the script. Mm, line 15, 25. So, message box here. Save it and run the script. String to integer. Okay. 10, integer. Integer to boolean. It does a boolean and it's a true value because it's one and finally integer to date and we have to insert the date in this format so day 20 today's date maybe 30 uh, 12 2015 okay so this is being converted to a date format now because of C date and once we click on OK this this after conversion of uh, the input that we have given the date is being shown in this particular format so what happens is we had input the value of date as 30 12 2015 so that value is being taken by the input box once the input box takes that value this value is stored as a string so this string value is gone inside the c date and c date converts this value to a date format 
and this date format is saved in A and then message box type name A. Since C date converted that value to a date, the type name is displayed as a date. S hence, we get the date. Date as the type name. And finally, message box A. A is already saved as a date. So, message box A shows the date in the date format. That's all about uh, the conversion functions. And uh, if there is anything, if there is any confusion in this, as we try different examples, as we move on in the uh, in further tutorials, you will be able to understand uh, almost all the concepts. And I'll make sure that you understand everything. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any doubt, you can comment below the video. Keep watching and stay tuned. Thank you.